Merry Christmas everyone. You can see I've gone nuts with this year's budget on the Christmas decorations and stuff so I just want you to know that I have made an effort. Massive thanks to everyone for supporting the channel. I'm just overwhelmed this year hit a million views so massive thanks. Lost my hat again. Got another one of those on order. Weird times. I've been working throughout this period doing what we do as loads of plumbers and heating engineers have been. So it's 2020 and we're going to crack on and we're going to go to 2021 and things are going to be just fantastic. Take it easy guys. Have a wonderful Christmas and smash it for 2021. Anyway, and here's my rendition of this year's Christmas dinner. Oh, you know what that needs? One of them. <laughs> Dinner served. <laughs> Let's go to work. It's a lovely day out there. Eh? So beautiful. Look at it. Anyway. A little combination of it up so we're going to take this out to have a look inside the filter and see what's going on we'll just switch it out first because the pressure upstairs on the hot water circuit seems to be weird on the uh, on the heat uh, on the hot water side in the shower so we're going to change have a look so this job we're going to change proper cramped space and not great access so this is us so we've got an auto um, pressure release valve here temperature and pressure and it's hidden behind here so not the greatest of access but we have to do what we do here if it is going to leak it'll leak out here not over the three valve and bits so what I want to do is see if I can move this. Get this out of my way. Too bad. So just that bit. So what I might do is take this loop completely out and then it doesn't get in my way. This is the filling loop for the central heating. Somebody's put it here. Non return valves working. Oh, it's proper horrible today. We're gonna Okay, we've got this open. That's actually soldered in there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to remove this. This is for an external shower for the dog. Yep. Dog shower outside, hot and cold, through a blending valve. So we need to make sure we put that back on, otherwise we're going to get very wet. So if I can move this out of my way. So now we want to undo this. Clearly that's open, so if it is leak, leak, leaking or letting by, the problem I have here, okay, I'm going to close it now, just in case. Twist. That's out. So what we do, whoa. Okay, so that's that section there. What we should really do is put a cap on that. Right, well, let's open this, see what happens. There is water there, so we really need to drain that out. I'm going to shove this in here. I'm just going to see how much water's coming out of this. Bear in mind that this is hot water. I'm going to use this NARAD. Versa funnel. So I'm going to stick this like that. How good is that? Right. I will open it, see how much water comes out. That's superb. Perhaps the name of the game here. I think there's enough on there. <laughs> now this has served me well, this trick. So once it's on there, put your fingers on it. Twist it. Twist it so you put pressure on it, yeah? And what you're doing is you're forcing it into the threads. Yeah? And you're also testing to make sure you've got it the right way because if you turned it the wrong way and you did this, it would just all unravel in your hands. So this is a big three-quarter inch one. 
better. 90, 10 bar. If we look at the new one, 90, 10 bar. And now look at it, the glorious sunshine. So this is super hot <laughs> and it's taking a bit of time, which to be fair, I don't really have today. Clearly have your valve ready. This will come out of here. So it has to come out and then what? Hmm. That's interesting, I never noticed that. Not sure that should be in there, should it? <laughs> you do this stuff, you've just got to make your life as easy as possible. Because when the shit hits the fan, you wish you had. So, take this off. And clearly make sure you remember to put all of this stuff back in. Right, here we go. I'm gonna do just keep that draining while I do this because I'm gonna oh, that is super hot. Expect any of you to do it this way. Because if I'm honest, unless you're a professional and you know what to do, you shouldn't. So the prerequisite here is that you must have way if this goes terribly wrong you're going to plug this yes you probably get burnt but I've got a cloth nearby and we'll just have to do what we have to do anyway. now when you get to about halfway or so keep your eye over here because you don't want to be getting this bit wrong so it feels, well, it's not severe. Okay, so my idea now is I'll have this either in my mouth or just above like that. So we're ready. Let's just check the pressure. Was that that moment where you don't know? Yeah. So it's just a snatch, but you've done all of the right things. Yeah. That's been in there a while. I do find the big set of these grips a bit fiddly. They go from one extreme to the next. I just want to get rid of this bucket because it's right under my feet. Now we can go back on with this. Get that peace and quiet. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that in the background, do you? It sounds like I'm peeing into a bucket. Make sure the doggy showers off. Cut this off. the old fitting. Part of the problem with this is just access. With most of these jobs it's access, it's nothing more. It's super hot as well now. We go on. Doesn't look too bad. Twist and shower. I've got to take it all out. On so let's get the top on. Yep, it was on. Push that on. So when people tell you this job's easy, tell them. I'll tell you what, tell them to watch this. Patience, that's all you need. Patience goes a long way in this game. Fit this up. It's a fit up, mate. It's a fit up. I used to say that in the Sweeney, didn't I? Yeah. 
So fit up. Some of you probably are going, Sweeney? What's the Sweeney? Never heard of it. So I put a spanner on there and that's resting there. And it's got it open. And it's dribbling away nicely down there. So we'll leave that. So I've been waiting ages for this to drain. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll put that on, pump outside, I'll open this valve and see if I can get it to speed up because uh, I've been on this an hour and it still hasn't. So open that and start pumping. Look at that, much quicker. That's got it. It's rushing through. Little tip. So a simple little pump attached to there. Clearly you could put this on a shower outlet as long as the valve's open and then you just open that. Easy. Anyway, I'm going to finish this off. That's what you're listening for. And you know it's finished. Got air coming out of there now. Okay, so I've had a good workout. Stop. And do the valve. Take all this off. So I'm just going to take this one out. So this is the hand scrubber thermostatic upstairs. Just trying to work out what is going on with this pressure. So and as I thought, it doesn't really. It's got some muck on it, but nothing. This not long ago, and it looks pretty clean. So I'm going to put it back in now. Right, happy Christmas, everyone. Hope you all have a great Christmas. Eat, Danny, if you've got any food. Fuck's sake, I can't believe it. We got through another Christmas. Just by the skin of our fucking teeth. Boom.